Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. Good to have you again. And I got a good story about a flower and somebody who takes care of it. But before that, I'm going to play a little cello music. I just felt like doing some cello today. And I thought it might be interesting for you to see a little bit how I prepare. Um, so I always take the bow and uh, the 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 soft part of the bow is made of hair from a horse and then you tighten up the hair part by turning this and i always do it four or five times three four i'll do four and a half today and then you have to put rosin on the bow and so i've got my cello rosin, and rosin comes from a, a pine tree. So it's pine sap, the sticky stuff that comes out of the pine wood. And I'll rub it on the horse hair. And that's what helps the bow. This is the bow, the whole thing. That's what helps the bow grip the strings on the cello and make them vibrate for the sound that you want to make. So this is usually what I do before the camera turns on. I just wanted to show you a little bit of how I get ready. So now let's have just a little music. And this is a song called La Cinquantaine, which I think means the 50th. I'm just guessing. Here we go. All right. This is a good story for this time of year when we're seeing the flowers starting to come up out of the ground. Um, I've been uh, waiting for my daffodils to come up because I planted them last year and, and they were really slow, but they did come up eventually. And now they're all blooming right now. And there's a few more that have yet to open up. So here's about a little girl named Ava. Every morning, Ava crossed the field in front of her house because she was looking for the poppy. One day she found this poppy. Oh, you're very beautiful, Ava said. Please, can I be your friend? That's the way I feel sometimes when I spend uh, a lot of time with a certain flower, it seems like a friend almost. Eva visited her flower every day and every day she found it right away. It stood out in the field, lovely shining red. Its petals were very soft and sometimes they gently moved in the breeze. Together, Eva and her poppy would look up at the sky so she's laying on her back and looking the direction that her poppy is looking. Ava was always there for her friend. She protected it from the cold wind. And here you see her kneeling and opening up her raincoat so that the poppy's petals don't fly away. That is one dedicated girl. 
she gave it water when the earth was dry because sometimes we go a long time without rain. Let's see what else she does for her poppy. Oh, she put up her umbrella when it rained too hard. She doesn't seem to mind those difficult weather days at all. Ava looked after her friend with tender loving care, but then the flower began to lose its petals. Ava was sad. Only the round capsule was still shining fresh and green. You can see it where the petals used to be. But soon that too became brown and dry. So Ava dug a hole laid the capsule inside and covered it with earth. Goodbye, dear Poppy, whispered Ava. So she buried her friend, thinking she would never see her friend again. She made a circle of stones to remind her where the flower what stood, so she'd always remember. That was very thoughtful of her. And then winter came. Ava often thought of her friend. The snow would certainly have been too cold for my flower friend, she said to herself, and she's looking out the window thinking of her flower. In the spring, Ava went back to her stone circle and there she made a wonderful discovery. In the center of the circle, a tiny little plant was reaching upward toward the sky. What a great surprise. And Ava learned that that's the cycle of plants. And here we see one more set of pictures in the back of how it comes up and grows and brings its petals back again. And that is the story for today, Ava's Poppy. Well, thanks for listening, boys and girls. Let's have some prayer. Well, we remember, Lord, how Jesus tells us in the Bible, uh, consider the lilies of the field. And they were really like poppies. So, Lord, as, as Jesus reminds us to look at the flowers, we remember uh, how uh, you take care of the flowers. You give them a way to look beautiful to be protected, and then to uh, rise again the next year. And even more so, you take care of us. Uh, so as Jesus said, we do not need to worry, because as much as you love the flowers, Lord, as the creator of flowers, you love us even more as the creator of us, all of our boys and girls. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, go on out and find a favorite flower today if you haven't already found one. And once you find one, sit down for it for, with a while. Maybe lay on your back, look up at the sky, and um, see if there's any ways that you need to take care of your favorite flower. 
just admiring it may be the best thing of all. So thanks for being here. Have a great day, and I will see you next week. Bye, boys and girls.